Braintree for the 1957 edition of the world's greatest steeplechase, the Grand National. One of England's top turf events, it brings the gentlemen of the sporting fraternity out en masse, along with a record crowd. 35 superb thoroughbreds start. Ahead lies a grueling four and a half mile course with 30 jumps, a supreme test of horse and rider. No spills on the initial barrier, but then Aintree starts to take its toll. One after another, the early leaders fall out of contention, with the exception of Sundu, out in front from the start and keeping his position. But the others don't fare as well. Despite the brutal toll, it can be a superb spectacle. There's no denying Aintree's excitement. Number seven, Sandu still leads. He fell at this point last year, but this year, luck is with Sandu. At the halfway mark, less than half the field remains as they begin the second round of the course, with the jumps just as high and dangerous, and the horses no longer fresh. still leads after the last jump and as the survivors go into the flat race at the home stretch ESP last year's winner challenges but it's Sundu first Winber second and Tiberetta Sundu romps home after leading all the way in the roughest race of them all a performance of a lifetime <laughs>